Hello and welcome to my dance studio here in the heart of Ceredigion, West Wales. My name is Jessica Scarlett May. I'm a fellow of the British Association of Teachers of Dancing, a former ISTD Imperial teacher and school owner. Now, it was back in 1999 that my good friends Howard and John Cookson created the Weaver's Waltz. Now, it won the Inventive Dance Competition in Chester, can't believe that, for the British Association of Teachers of Dancing. And what a wonderful sequence it is. Now, if you haven't done gold medal and above, you might find some of the figures a little bit more um, demanding. So come and join me and we'll walk through the dance from the beginning. It starts in boring hold, facing, diagonal to wall. Okay, so come and join me, um, leaders. So we're starting left foot forward into left foot close change. So you've took boring hold. So you're dancing left foot forward into a close change, natural spin turn under turn. So we've got Walk side close, your natural turn starts right foot forward, back slide of dance, you dance a spin which is half a turn on the pivot for the man. There we go. He ends up backing diagonal to centre with his feet open and finishes with four, five, six of a reverse turn facing diagonal to centre. Now He's going to do an underturned um, reverse turn. So in other words, it starts facing down to centre and ends backing down to wall. He's going to dance um, a syncopated movement now, consisting of a check, stepping right foot back. Don't lower the back heel, I suggest, Jen. So that's your check there. Recover out of it, step to side, and back. So we've got um, one to three of a weave. Now this weave though will finish in um, a left whisk, which is a it's something I don't see in sequences. So it's a lovely movement to left whisk. All the lady's done is simply set back as you've crossed behind. Now the lady's going to run around you these were very common figures in my day. I don't know if they still are. The lady's going to run round you as you're in a whisk position. Um, you could think of this as a natural twist turn if you wish. That's this end position, isn't it? But you turn between the feet and allow the lady to end so that you're, she's on her, your right hand side. Because your next movement, uh, which is linked to this, is um, an outside spin. So obviously she's stepping outside. It, the key's in the um, in the figure's name. So allow her to step outside, partner. You more or less dance a figure on the spot, and you're going to step right foot forward for a lock cross step. Walk lock cross step. Now. It's took me a while to get out of the idea that I'm going to close my feet on the natural turn because we're going to overturn the natural turn. I'm just going to step back away from the camera. And all we're doing is stepping right foot forward as you would do after any lock step. So I'll think of a quick step if you want um, uh, to give a, a comparison. Right foot forward, heel lead. Left foot to side. So that's, in my world, um, where it should be anyway. And you're going to turn so that you're facing diagonal to center, finishing with your right foot to side. Now that step will lower as you stand to check, moving um, diagonal to center. So you're going to down to check, heel lead, check, a recovery, to side and dance a hover, stepping right foot forward, moving down to center, walk, hover, step. Now, um, the engagement waltz was very popular in my day 
and we're going to dance a backward lock out of the engagement wall. So that's what we're going to do. So left foot back, lock cross step. Don't forget to lift that foot up when you dance that lock step. Okay, we've almost come to the end of the dance and we're going to dance an underturned impetus turn, stepping left foot back, moving down to wall, right foot closes to left foot and I would say anywhere between facing down to centre and facing line of dance keep turning so that you're backing down to centre and you're going to dance four, five, six of a reverse turn under turn four, five, six so we're ready to start the dance facing down to wall and so on. So it looks like a breeze through that dance and I have in some ways. Hopefully by gold medal you'll have done figures such as the outside spin. The natural twist turn maybe not but then again it's an ideal dance or sequence to practice these movements because you do see them in more advanced sequences. So if you like what you see in the sense of this uh, walkthrough of this particular dance has helped you with your current class, why not like, subscribe and hit the notification bells on this platform. I'm on three platforms presently and I have over 100 dances being presented at this time. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook and Pinterest. So we're going to walk through this dance again. How did it start? It started facing down to wall. So it's using a lot of class figures um, within this sequence. But then again, you would have to have been gold medal or better really to accomplish the dance easily. I'm not saying that yeah, if you're a silver medalist, it's not within your grasp. It will just take more practice. So we're starting on this line of dance now, moving away from the camera and we're in ballroom hole. So the first three steps is a left foot close change, most possibly the first few steps that you learn in your waltz, so that's what we do. We step right foot forward, uh, turning to right for a natural turn. So we're backing line of dance we're going to dance half a turn on the pivot. So the girl, do, the girl does a pivoting action, but we're doing, dancing a pivot. So what must we do? Keep that right foot in front of us. Right foot forward. Lift onto both toes and step to side, gents. Four, five, six of a reverse turn. Stepping right foot back to face. Diagonal to centre. So we're going to do an underturned reverse turn which is a walk side close to back down to wall, left foot forward, heel lead, in line with your partner. We're dancing a check, right foot back, what must you not lower gents? That heel, recover, step to side and step back, okay? Right foot back for a whisk, what sort of whisk is it? It's a left whisk, okay? So, it puts you in a natural twist position. What happens in a twist turn in tango? The lady runs round. Let her run round you. There we go. So the man is going to lead the lady outside partner for the outside spin. And um, it uses a pivot again. But you're, you're allowing her to step outside partner. And it's almost danced on the spot. Guys, keep your head to left. Allow that body to turn, otherwise you don't go around. Remember, you're going round yourself, basically. So left foot back, small step. Right foot forward, almost in place, facing line of dance. Left foot to side and slightly back. Okay, so you're stepping right foot forward for a lock cross step. Right foot forward, heel lead. Walk, lock cross step. So we've come to that overturned natural turn and I'm going to come back because I want to keep it all in one line of dance rather than change at the corner so we're going to set right foot forward outside partner 
And it's going to feel like a hover cross, more or less. So we're stepping right foot forward. That's Foxtrot, by the way. Right foot forward, heel lead. Left foot to side, right foot to side. Okay? So the crossing action is late. So we're going to step outside, partner. Check. There we go. You can look at her if you wish. And normally the girl will check her head back. We're going to replace step to side and dance a hover, moving down to center against line of dance. So we're staying on that plane, that diagonal to wall plane, before dancing a backward lock step, left foot back, walk, lock, cross, step. So you remember to draw your heel there. So we're stepping back now for the impetus turn. So it's a standard impetus turn. However, it's underturned. Okay, so normally an impetus would end up backing diagonal to center. But we're going to end up backing diagonal to center against. So it's underturned. So we step left foot back, right foot closes to left foot, facing diagonal to center. You keep turning on, to your, on your right foot, stepping left foot to side, just like you would do a spin. Okay, right foot back, four, five, six, for a reverse turn, which is underturned on the script. But of course, that would be turned to whichever line of dance you're wanting to face. So I've danced it as if I'm dancing in Blackpool Tower and the organist is way over there. And we're back in our starting position. So after that four, five, six of the reverse turn, after the impetus, you're... Uh, aiming to start the dance facing diagonal to wall. Thank you very much, dancers. If you want to support this page and keep my light and heating on, even though my ballroom might be changing in the weeks to come, um, why not do so? You can do that through PayPal. And it's easy enough. All you have to do is place my email address, which is Jessica Scarlet May at yahoo.com. Thank you. You know what I'm going to say. Put your best foot forward. See me soon. And most importantly, keep dancing. And bye bye for now. Bye bye.